So our next speaker will be Dr. Kanye Zhu from USTC. And he will talk on error transparent operations on the logic to be protected by quantum error. Um, <clears throat> okay, uh, thank you, uh, Numi, for the instruction. Uh, first of all, I want to thank the organizer for inviting me. Today, I will present our recent work on the quantum error correction uh, and the uh, bosonicals and also the error transparent operations on these uh, logic qubits. Uh, these works are uh, combined uh, uh, efforts between uh, experiments and the theories. And all experiments are performed by my colleagues, Louis and his group in Tsinghua University. There are four parts in this talk. Uh, first, I will talk about the background of bosonic code. This is a well-known figure about the roadmap of universal quantum computation. Uh, in the last decades, uh, great progress has been achieved in this physical qubit level. We realize operations on single physical qubit, algorithms on multiple physical qubit, and also uh, the QND moment for uh, error correction and control. Right now, we are entering into the age of quantum error correction. Uh, at the logical qubit level, we want to uh, realize logical memory with longer lifetime and operations on single or multiple logical qubits. Based on this, we can uh, move on towards to the uh, ultimate for tolerant quantum computation. Most of studies of quantum error correction are focused on the qubit approach that encoding uh, the quantum information uh, on the delocalized uh, entangled state between uh, many qubits. This, the information could be protected against uh, local errors. So this is, uh, th there are two examples next, like the steam code and the surface code. The qubit quantum error correction uh, has have been experimentally demonstrated in various uh, experiment systems, including the uh, triple iron system, uh, the NV centers, and also the uh, superconducting systems. People uh, also notice that the bosonic modes are indispensable quantum hardware or resource in quantum technologies, other than qubits. So as shown in this figure, uh, you can find the uh, optical cavity photons, uh, propagating photons, uh, microwave resonant, uh, electron spin symbol, uh, nucleus spin symbol, and uh, mechanical oscillators as uh, bosonic modes that are widely applied in quantum applications. So this bosonic mode uh, in abstract could be um, quantized by energy as a fork state, and the quantized uh, excitation could be uh, named by uh, as the photon, phonon, magnon, and polariton. So uh, the main error channel for the bosonic modes are uh, excitation loss. The early idea about encoding the qubits, encoding quantum information into the bosonic modes uh, was proposed by these papers two decades ago. We are interested in the superconducting circuits. The 3D or 2D cavity provides the bosonic mode. And uh, the uh, ancillary qubit, the transmit qubit, provides the single photonolarity for universal quantum control. So this system provides a very good uh, architecture, uh, this, which is hardware efficient. The logic qubits encoded by the cavity has long lifetimes, um, only have one main decoherence channel as a photon loss, and only one uh, uh, error syndrome uh, that we can measure the uh, parity, which is very easy for to in implement in experiment. During the last few years, the superconducting bosonic uh, encoding have widely uh, have been widely applied in quantum science uh, because of their advantage, such as uh, infinitely large Hilbert space uh, for quantum error correction, and uh, boson mode has, has various degree freedoms like uh, energy, polarization, time beam, frequency, spatial modes, and also uh, the bosonic mode has ability to propagate over long distance and also uh, can mediate the interaction between various uh, different uh, systems. Uh, here is our recent um, uh, review article about the bosonic quantum error correction codes in superconducting quantum circuits, and uh, where in where we summarize their applications in quantum computation, uh, quantum communication, quantum methodology, and quantum simulation. Uh, I also want to provide more motivations about the bosonic quantum error correction. Uh, as shown here, we can. Um, uh, use uh, microwave to optic conversion to mediate the uh, superconducting circuits to optic frequencies and convert uh, the uh, bosonic encoding to uh, fibers and also uh, do transfer to over long distance do the error correction recovery information and then uh, realize the physical quantum state transfer 
and realize the quantum repeat with error corrections. And uh, we, uh, based on this, we can also realize the module quantum computation architectures. Uh, also, uh, the boson modes can be uh, used for quantum mass storage. Here we show an example, we encode the Bosonian mode as a maximum variance state. And use this state, we realized uh, the uh, phase measurement uh, with the precision very close to the Heisenberg limit. Uh, this work is also collaborated with uh, Professor uh, Lu Mingduan and Hai uh, Dongyuan. Uh, CAT, Bellomi, and uh, GKP are the three botanicals that attracted most attentions. This figure illustrates the uh, phase space distribution of the CAT code, Bellomi code, and the GKP code in code space and also in the air space. They can correct the uh, photon loss, uh, correct the, the small displacement error, and the uh, GKP continuous variable code. The, the three codes are experimentally demonstrated in uh, uh, Sharkov's group, uh, Devry group, and also uh, by us. In our work, we are focusing on this uh, binomial code. The binomial code was proposed by Professor uh, Steve Gervin and uh, Lian Jian uh, four years ago. And uh, the code word could be expanded uh, in the Fox basis with the binomial width. It has the following advantages. It has the exact orthonormality in contrast to the cat code. It has equal mean photo numbers um, that avoid the back action in the cat codes. And also, we can uh, implement an explicit unitary operation for recovery um, in, the, in the cavity. And also, uh, the binomial code has smaller truncated focus space, uh, which is potential for higher fidelity or gate operations and also avoid a uh, higher order curl effect in the, in the cavity. This is an example for the lowest order binomial code. Uh, for logical zero, it's encoded by FOX zero and four. For logical one, it's encoded by uh, logic, uh, FOX two. Uh, I want to show the, how the bi binomial code work, uh, works. For the lowest uh, binomial code, uh, the information could be uh, encoded as a superposition of the logical zero and the logical one. And uh, if there's a one single photon loss happened, the logical, the FOX4 will be mapped to the logical, uh, the FOX3. The FOX2 will map to FOX1. Um, we, we notice that there's a square root of two or square root of four decaying uh, the amplitude, but it can be compensated by this coefficient of square root of two. So uh, the uh, coefficient of the states in aerospace are also preserves. We can uh, do the parity measurement in the aerospace. Uh, you, you can notice that the FOX3 and the FOX1 are old parity. Then by doing the parity measurement, if the error happens, we can map the state back to the even parity state uh, uh, with, with a very high probability. The two photon loss uh, cannot be distinguished from the uh, zero photon loss, so we cannot correct the two photon loss error. Uh, this binomial code, the, the lowest order binomial code, can only correct a single photon loss error, so we need to repetitively uh, implement an error correction. Uh, our experiment is carried out uh, by this device. The device consists of three parts a storage cavity as the uh, bosonic mode. The Ancena uh, transform qubit as the uh, Ancena to control the cavity. And also, there's a readout, load Q readout cavity to read out the state of the Ancena. Uh, in this work, we uh, realize the uh, encoding from the Ancena qubit to the code space, uh, a decoding from code space to Ancena qubit. And also, we realize the uh, univer universal gate operation on the, uh, code, uh, on the logical qubit. And we do the error detection to the aerospace and the recovery mapping the state in aerospace to the uh, code space. Um, these operations are enabled by our spin oscillate uh, architecture. Uh, the key is the strong dispersive interaction between the cavity, storage cavity, and the Ancena qubit. Um, the, the dispersed interaction uh, could uh, resolve the FOX state in the storage cavity by the Ancena qubit frequency. And also, if the Ancena qubit uh, in ground state of excitation, it can be distinguished by the readout cavity. We can read out the Ancena uh, state through the readout cavity. By the uh, slap and the grip uh, method, we can optimize the microwave pulse driving on the uh, qubit and also the uh, bosonic mode to realize arbitrary unitary gate and the bosonic mode and the system. 
Uh, my colleagues also developed the uh, uh, the hardware FPGA for fast real time feedback to system. Uh, it, it's very uh, good for the adaptive control of the uh, quantum system. This is our uh, experimental quantum error correction procedure. Um, by preparing preparing a superposition of logical zero and a logical one, uh, waiting for some time, we implement the parity measurement to uh, infer if the error happened during this waiting time. And if the uh, and we extract the uh, measurement output to decide which uh, operation uh, aid to the system, uh, by the real time uh, feedback control, we realize this two layer uh, repetitive quantum error correction strategy. We observe a longer cross time. Uh, this green line. Uh, we have we observe longer cross time of the uh, biological code uh, by error correction compared comparing to the case without error correction as shown by this red line. Uh, the uh, black line showing the uh, decay of the uh, transmog and signal qubit. So we realize uh, three, uh, three times lifetime uh, comparing to the uncorrect case. And also uh, the, the lifetime, the decay time is comparable to the uncorrect focus zero one coding. That means our system is very close to the uh, break even point. Uh, with the uh, error correction code demonstrated, we also realize we also uh, realize the arbitrary uh, gate operation on the logic qubit. Use random bench randomized benchmarking. We uh, demonstrate the the fidelity of the single qubit case uh, uh, be ninety seven percent, and uh, use the uh, uh, error correction protected uh, uh, logic qubit. We also realize the Ramsey interference. Uh, in this experiment, we found that the coherence time of the uh, quantum error cor correction protected by Lumen code ha uh, be 200 uh, microseconds. It's two times uh, compared to that without QEC. This uh, indicates the potential of bosonic code in quantum sensing. So uh, we demonstrated the quantum error correction code, but this quantum error correction um, by Lumen code can only protect the stored quantum information from the leading error leading uh, out of errors. However, for ultimate fault tolerant quantum computation, we want to protect the quantum gate. Uh, that means uh, we want to protect the logical state dynamics during the gate operation, or else we cannot distinguish the gate error, we cannot uh, correct the gate error. Previously, the fault tolerant operation on uh, bosonic codes have been demonstrated by your group to mitigate the transmog reaction or transmog uh, defacing. For example, in this case, uh, they use higher energy level of transmog. The higher energy level of transmog provide uh, extra energy level uh, redundancy for quantum error correction. So they can uh, detect, they can um, photonically detect the error uh, happened in the cavity to uh, uh, implement the photon error detection. And they generate the idea to uh, uh, phase gate, they realize the uh, they realize the phase gate and the uh, binomial code to correct the error of the ancilla. Here we uh, uh, use the uh, error transparent gate to uh, tolerate the error happened in the cavity. Um, for the non error transparent case, uh, in in general, uh, if there's error happened for the code in the code space, um, the code maps into the aerospace and evolves according to the Hamiltonian in the aerospace. And after the gate, we will perform the quantum error correction and map the state back to the code space. However, because the Hamiltonian between uh, in the two space are usually different. So the, the states after the quantum error correction uh, would not go to the target state uh, or the target unitary we want. Um, but for the error transparent case, the evolution of state in the code space and error space, they are somehow synchronized to each other. It, it doesn't matter when the error happens, the state will evolve in either code space and aerospace and aerospace. After the uh, gate, the code the state in the aerospace could be mapped to the uh, target uh, location or target state we want. Uh, in general, uh, this idea was proposed by uh, these two papers. Uh, and we derived a generalized ET error transparent condition. Uh, that, uh, the, which means that uh, we want the error uh, be communicate, uh, communicated with the uh, unitary or the Hamiltonian of the system. Uh, 
uh, which means that we, it doesn't matter when the error happens, it's equivalent to the error happens at the end of the gate and uh, just uh, with a, a global phase difference. So by doing this, we can always uh, correct the error after the gate. To be more specific, we, in our system and uh, uh, the binomial code, um, the curl effect uh, is unavoidable because a thinner interaction with, uh, with the storage cavity would, would induce some curl effect. So this curl effect could um, give rise to a phase shift or the frequency shift and the FOC2 state. However, for FOC4 state, it has a frequency of zero. In that case, uh, this curl effect could allow us implementing a um, phase gate and the logic, uh, logic zero and the logic one. However, in the iris space, the Hamiltonian is different. The uh, FOX1 and the FOX3, they have different, uh, they have different uh, frequencies uh, co in comparing to the FOX2 and the FOX4. So the iris transparent condition is not satisfied. This gives a more direct picture about why non error transparent gate is bad. So if, if we have a state in the code space, it evolves uh, uh, along with uh, the <clears throat> time, uh, we apply some Hamiltonian here to realize some gate. However, at a random time, uh, tau, there's a photon loss error happens, and the state evolves uh, during, uh, during the fo for the following uh, remain time and in our space. And after the gate evolution time, we uh, do a quantum error correction to map the state back to the code space. So in this case, because uh, the logical one state, the FOC2 state, have a different frequency, so we gain a phase uh, 2k uh, uh, tau uh, in, uh, on the logical state 1. However, uh, the tau is random, so that means uh, this, this gate evolution will give rise to some mixing of the phase, uh, give rise to defacing of the, uh, of the states. Uh, this uh, uh, is uh, the result. If we uh, initialize the system to the logical one and the logical uh, superposition of logical one and the logical zero, uh, if there's no error happens, we can wait for uh, 30, 60, and 90 microseconds. Uh, in the code space, the state uh, preserves its coherence, but we can see uh, there's a rotation uh, in this direction uh, corresponding to the uh, phase in the logical state. However, um, <clears throat> there's some probability for photon jumping into the airspace. So at a 30 uh, microsecond, we, should, we, we can see that in the airspace, we also have some probability of the uh, state and also the zero, the error one and error zero state, they have some coherence. But as the time goes longer, the defacing accumulate and uh, at the end, uh, for the <clears throat> 90 microsecond, we, we can see that there's no phase information here. It's, the state is almost totally defaced in our space. Uh, to solve the problem, uh, we propose a, a new method uh, called a pass, uh, with namely the uh, photon number resolve AC stack shift. By applying a drive to the system, uh, because of the photon number dependent uh, shift on the answer qubit, the answer qubit would feel different detuning. So uh, due to the AC stack shift, the G0, G1, G2, G3, they feel a uh, uh, downward uh, frequency shift. But for G4, because the transition frequency is uh, smaller than the driving, so they feel it feel uh, upward frequency shift. So by doing this, we can realize uh, uh, a photon number dependent frequency shift and the, uh, of the system Hamiltonian. And also because the drive is detuned from the acetal <laughs> Transition frequency, there's a negligible excitation of the antenna, so uh, the decoherence is, uh, is small. This is our experiment result, uh, <clears throat> and the frequency shift, uh, you can see that uh, the experiment result agree well with our theoretical prediction. We can shift to the energy levels of the uh, focuses. So by this pass technique, we can realize arbitrary frequency shift on uh, arbitrary photon number dependent frequency shift. So combine the past Hamiltonian and uh, our original curl effect, uh, we can realize the iris transparent condition as the K prime uh, times the logical Z operation. And we notice that uh, there's a small, um, <clears throat> there, there, there remain a 
constant difference between the two Hamiltonian, it doesn't matter because it just gives a global phase between the error and the cold space. Uh, by controlling the cover prime, we can realize the identity. Uh, there's no effect between the error space and the cold space. Uh, this is good for preserving quantum information. And we can also use this for realizing the, the phase gate between logical zero and the logical one. Uh, such a, a past technique the, the can also be interpreted in this geometry phase interpretation. Uh, <clears throat> from the Robinson interference uh, between the state in error and the code space, uh, except the focus zero state, we will find that uh, for the original uh, curve effect, uh, the error space, the state in error space evolves uh, with a different uh, uh, period as a state in revolving code space. However, by applying a pass to a system, we can uh, synchronize uh, the the, uh, from the 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 beating uh, in uh, both uh, error and the code space. So this could uh, by by this technique, we can eliminate the jump jumping time dependent phase accumulation, uh, as shown as shown here. Uh, we can we can have we can eliminate this this jump time dependence uh, by the tomography. Uh, we uh, further prove the error transparent property of the gates. Uh, this is a result shown previously uh, for the case without uh, any error transparent uh, pass uh, Hamiltonian, the state in the error space defacing very quickly. Uh, however, by applying uh, the pass gate, we can realize uh, either rotation, the logical state rotation operation or the identity gate. We can find that the state in the uh, error space uh, could preserve their uh, coherence. This is uh, this indicates the error transparent property of the system. As shown in previous slides, um, uh, we uh, realized a quantum error correction in the uh, phase forward uh, approach. We first send the control paths to the system to implement the parity measurement, and according and uh, and uh, extract the output from the quantum system to our computer and uh, uh, decide which uh, control power sent to a system uh, by by the output and then um, uh, implement the uh, recovery operation to the system by the pulse. So in this case, in this process, uh, the real-time feedback is necessary and also uh, there, there, there is unavoidable uh, latency between the uh, error detection uh, and the uh, recovery. There might be some error happen in this duration. So we propose a different way to realize the quantum error correction. We can uh, treat the uh, <clears throat> bosonic mode and ancena as a, as a big system. And we just uh, apply a unitary on the whole system. It could uh, map the aerospace, aerospace to the logical space in the bosonic mode while uh, flip the ancena state. By doing this, the quantum error correction could be realized by just sending one pulse to a system, uh, uh, just like this, to realize the unitary. And we don't need to wait uh, to decide which pulse to send. Uh, this circuit uh, shows the uh, error transparent gate and the sequential uh, AQEC pulse. And by this pulse, we can convert, we can preserve the logical space and just convert the error happened in this uh, process to uh, excited state of the ancena. The information about the error uh, recorded by the ancena could be erased by reciting the ancena here. This figure illustrates the overall gate fidelity against the gate, gate evolution time. The AQEC, uh, like RET and IET, the, the gate fidelity of the uh, error transparent gates could be uh, higher than that without uh, error transparent and without uh, error correction. Lastly, we demonstrate the error transparent gate protected by repetitive uh, quantum error correction. This is the result. Uh, for the case without uh, error correction, we have the fidelity decay time of 180 microseconds. Uh, if we apply the quantum error correction, we can boost the time to uh, 260 microseconds. Uh, but if we use the uh, error transparent gate, we can uh, further boost the, the time to uh, decay time to 300 and 360 microseconds. This is almost two times uh, of that without quantum error correction. Uh, we also noticed that the identity gate have lower uh, <clears throat> uh, decay time because uh, we apply more drives and and the ancilla qubit. Uh, it in induces some uh, errors to the ancilla. Uh, 
in this in this uh, error budget uh, table, we can find that the AQC process in this ET gate uh, have lower AQC uh, process in fact uh, the, the operation uh, error, and also because we can correct the curl effect, um, the uncorrectable, uncorrectable error is also smaller. Uh, for future works uh, on this uh, quantum error correction, uh, error transparent gates of binomials, uh, we want to complete the universal uh, error transparent gate set for quantum computation. And right now, we there are still uh, uh, Hardman gates and the two logic qubit control phase gates uh, are missing. So uh, we propose to use the, this Hamiltonian to realize the Hardman gate in this uh, error transparent uh, manner. This uh, this this Hamiltonian gives rise to the uh, uh, <coughs> uh, pass independent uh, the, this error independent uh, rotation in error space and a uh, code space. Uh, this is uh, just equivalent to a uh, two-fold driving, and uh, we uh, we need an additional fold number block it to uh, prevent uh, the state go to fog state like five and six. And this technique uh, could be realized by uh, the proposal in this uh, science paper. For the for the two logic qubit uh, control phase gates, we want to use the cross curve effects between the two cavities. Uh, <clears throat> this have have already been used for the non ET demonstration of the two uh, logic qubit gates uh, by us uh, in in this paper. <clears throat> and here we want to uh, implement the pass uh, generalize the pass to the uh, joint fog state uh, in two cavities. Use the cross curve effect. We can compensate the cost curve effect, and we can also uh, induce an uh, extra shift on the 2-2 uh, focus state uh, in two separate cavity. That's uh, just equivalent to the logical 1-1 one, one state. Uh, in this way, we can realize um, a control phase between the two uh, logical states uh, in the uh, error transparent manner. Uh, next, uh, we want to uh, further study the uh, synthesizing arbitrary uh, multi cavity Hamiltonian for uh, autonomous QEC and error transparent. For long term future, I adapt a figure from this review article. <clears throat> Great progress ha have been achieved in bosonic code in superconducting system, and we would expect in, uh, the photons and multiple modes in the in the future, and uh, and we can use this uh, multiple photon uh, operation uh, and error correction protected. Uh, 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 logic qubits for universal quantum computation. And uh, in the near term, we want to go beyond the break even point uh, by uh, employing all the previous demonstrated four tolerant approaches uh, that tolerate the uh, ancilla errors and tolerate the photon loss during the gate operations. Uh, in conclusion, we experimentally demonstrated the quantum error correction uh, and, uh, in <coughs> bosonic mode by binomial codes. And also demonstrates the error transparent gate uh, and the autonomous quantum error correction uh, in this binomial code in our system. Uh, this uh, this works uh, present a significant step towards the four tolerant quantum, quantum circuits and the universal quantum computation. Uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, thank uh, my colleagues at the Tsinghua University and um, uh, these uh, collaborators and also uh, funding support. Okay, thank you for your interesting talk. So, uh, questions. So first, I want to ask for so for this uh, bosonic code, you can use it to protect like this displacement error or this uh, defeating error in this oscillator space. But apart from that, in experimental systems, you also need to use this uh, superconducting qubits to manipulate these uh, oscillators and to read out these oscillators. So okay. is there any estimate uh, uh, or that uh, uh, to make this 44 tolerant, if you take into account all these errors, is there any estimate of the error threshold to, for this approach, for this bottleneck code approach, where you have uh, not just errors for the oscillators, but also have uh, the, all the errors for this uh, semiconducting qubits or readout, all these things taken into account? Um. Right now, we do not have an um, idea how to extend this bosonic code to uh, uh, universal fault-haunted quantum computation. Uh, or 
uh, as you said, the four thousand threshold we don't know yet because we don't know which way we go. Uh, one one approach is like we can expand the uh, binomial code to higher uh, folks higher level focus states that could allowing us to uh, tolerate the uh, defacing and also the photon loss or photon gain of the of the code. Uh, and for the ancillary qubits used in the system, uh, as demonstrated by Yale group, they can use the higher energy level of the transmon to tolerate the, uh, uh, the the error during the gate. But right now we just show some um, some four thousand of the gate for, to tolerate some uh, some specific uh, error like like photon loss or the ancillary decay rate uh, the decay loss. However, um, if we want to go to the uh, full uh, for tolerant architecture, we uh, we don't know how to do that. Uh, one approach is just use these um, uh, binomial codes as as basic qubits to uh, con concatenate with the surface code or this distributed quantum computing uh, architecture. In that case, we just need to satisfy the threshold for the surface code or for the uh, for the topological com computation. Uh, in a paper, uh, in a nature communication paper by uh, Simon Benjamin. Is we uh, the threshold would be like we want to uh, realize the binomials or the bosonicals with like a, a one percent uh, uh, error uh, with, with the error rate lower than one one percent. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. So there's another question from the audience, Brandon. So he asks whether the the error transparency uh, for this gate uh, you described is that just a requirement of uh, Commutable, the commit, uh, commutivity of the gate with the errors, or are there are some additional requirements to that. Mm, in our case, uh, it's it's a, a generalized uh, commutation uh, condition. Uh, because, uh, for example, in our case, we just want to have the Hamiltonian, the gate Hamiltonian in the code space and in in the error space, they are equal to each other uh, with some uh, additional uh, identity. And in general, uh, people demonstrate uh, and derive the condition uh, just, just more, just uh, uh, like in the form of the commutation uh, of the Hamiltonian. But uh, <clears throat> this is uh, the case for the uh, uh, time-independent Hamiltonian. If you want to uh, demonstrate the error transparent for the time-dependent Hamiltonian, then the condition will be uh, much more complicated. <clears throat> People should be should trace that case uh, carefully. Okay, so with that, I guess our, our time is, uh, is up. So with that, we conclude this session, and then let's just thank again for all the speakers for their great talks for this morning session. <laughs>